So today I'm going to unveil my gigantic army of Dimorphodons. And they're not just Dimorphodons. As you can see, they're mutated. But they're not just mutated. I may or may not have capped out their mutations in their melee damage. Let me show you. This is absolutely insane. I I've never done this with a creature before. I usually do a lot. But like, it's very easy to do with small creatures because you can fit a lot of them in. I had like 50 of them breeding all at once. Literally every single time I went to look for a the next mutation i would always be able to find it so um check out those stats right there so we've got uh <laughs> we've got maxed out melee damage if i was to put another one in then i won't be able to pump any levels into it and it's just kind of the way that it works if i do that then it's basically going to reset the uh the, the points down to like the minimum or whatever i could have probably made one to show you guys but i just i didn't so my bad Anyway, uh, 254 is where you should stop. If uh, if you would potentially land on 255, that is bad. So if you, it's either 254 or 253, depending on you know what base points a creature had. So um, anyway, yeah, I, ha I had to stop there. That is 102 mutations into the melee, all stacked cleanly. Obviously, when you look at the the little mutation counter right there. That is not a good, accurate representation. Um, and then on top of that, I also managed to stack 29 health mutations. And to be honest, I should have been stacking them alongside the melee all along, but I just kind of got a little bit lazy. 29 brought it up to 3,000, and then the imprint on top adds on another 600. So, um, yeah, these things are really just ridiculous. We're gonna go kill some things with it now with this gigantic army i just i want to take these guys out and just see what they could do uh i don't know any better way of getting them all to follow me besides yeah doing one of these okay let's just make sure that lockjaw here is not following me i have to have the thing off because looking at the names oh my god it's just so much spam okay we might have to just take this whole gate off because there's no easy way to get them out of here <laughs> What have I done? Why did I do this? There's way too many. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me let me bring them over here. I gotta make sure I got all of them out. It looks like I probably got all of them out, but unfollow. And uh, that's my turret killing that dude over there. Let's go back in here and just make sure we got everybody. Ah, oh, look at that. We were missing one. Uh, yeah, only one. God damn, that was 99 of them came out. Oh, by the way, this is actually 100. I should have probably mentioned that. Um, Yeah, 99 of them came out and we just... We were missing the one. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. So, yeah, we're going to have some fun with these things here today, guys. Um, yeah, let's just get them all in full. Lockjaw's not following, is he? I don't think he is. Uh, let's just go kill some things. we got to probably move a little bit further away from my base here. My little breeding bunker. Oh, my God. I can't even... Ah, uh, stop. <laughs> I can't see. Stop it. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's hop onto Dagger here. We'll just try to stay ahead of them. I'm going to probably have to... I don't even know what we're going to do here because it's just going to be so much spam. I can't completely get rid of the names without turning off all of my HUD. So, I don't know. We're just... We're going to run over here. We're going to kill this Bronto. Let's see if we can do this. Well, we definitely can. I, I know we can. But how quick will it happen? That's the question. Um, so, this is, this is pretty insane. <laughs> Let's see. It's just a little... It's like a cloud, essentially. And it's so laggy even just looking at them. It's ridiculous. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't ha I don't know how much damage they're going to do. They do 600 damage. What? That is... Okay. 600 damage is a good amount. So that means that if all of them were to hit a single target all at once, they will deal basically 60,000. 59,300 is the exact number and that that's with these things not being leveled at all um i i guess it could have probably been better but these are dimorphodons uh they're not really the most op creatures but we have a lot of them um <laughs> let's just let's go kill some more things we, we gotta oh look a rainbow <laughs> we, we gotta go ahead and just and just set this little flock onto um onto some other creatures here just looking at them is just too much of a pain i can't we can't do that at all I wish there was some alphas around here. Unfortunately, there's not, but we do have a unicorn. We should probably kill the unicorn. All right, come on, guys. Let's go kill this unicorn. There you go. Go kill that thing for me. And it no longer exists. Amazing. Uh, let's just go kill that Diplo as well. Oh, my God. It's so laggy. <laughs> I just can't. It's so many of them all at once. It's so ridiculous. We need to fight the Desert Titan 100%. 
Uh, I do think maybe trying to fight a couple of the other bosses would be fun too. I, I don't know how these things are going to fare against like the Manticore. Definitely not the Alpha. We could probably take them in for the Gamma, possibly the Beta, but I can only take 20 of them. And if I want to ride on something, which I'm going to want to, then it's only 19 at that point. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's send them in on this Bronto here as well. Um, So yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today, guys. Like, look at that. It looks so much cooler without all the names, but I do want to see the damages, but I guess I don't need to see them anymore. We already know what they do. That is ridiculous. They all just hit it once and it's just death. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. Okay. I'm going to have to put them all away, though, to get over there. Oh, my God. All right, let's go fight the Broodmother. It's over in the Redwoods. Let me go do that. This is probably the easiest way of putting them away, just moving away from them. And oh, my... What? What is happening here? <laughs> Did they all get stuck at each other? I thought I had all of them following me, but I guess not. What the hell? Oh, by the way, it's probably also a great time to mention, guys, you should go ahead and just hit the like button. We do crazy stuff like this here on this channel, and... Some other stuff too, but like mostly crazy stuff like this. Um, this is probably the craziest I've ever went with the mutations though. I like I, I think the 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 furthest I'd ever went before that was stacking 100 mutations in for Mystique right here. So I got 100 in the health and 100 in the melee. That was insane, but like this, this is taking it to the whole to like a whole other level, and it was just ridiculous. But like I said, it is small creatures. I had like 50 of them, honestly, breeding with wait, like 50 females breeding with the one male all at once. And it was just, it was quite a quick process in terms of trying to stack them. But like, obviously, most of the time, there's two broodmothers here today. Huh. Okay. I don't know if we can take two of them. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, we're going to try anyway. I mean, if they all die, I, like, I could easily just get another 100, but... Yeah. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let me, uh, let me go ahead. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I saw it in the corner of my eye. God damn it. Ah, that, that is embarrassing. All right, let me get you. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, this, this takes a while, by the way. It takes a while to throw out 100 Dimorphodons. So yeah, give me a little bit. I guess I could also be leveling them just a little bit, but like, I mean, it's totally worth doing, but at the same time, like leveling 100 of them is just a little bit obnoxious. I don't know. I guess I could, like, level some of them in, like, little waves like this, but I don't know. It's just, yeah. We're probably also gonna only really level into the <laughs> into the health of them. Uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, and I should also probably mention, if you're wanting to do crazy mutation stacks and stuff like this, if you're wanting to learn how to do it, check out my mutations guide. I'll probably have a little card thing appear up in the top right corner. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's my guide, and it, a lot of people say it's really good, so I'm gonna take their word for it. So, yeah, check that out. Oh, and also a quick little shout-out to Apex Gaming PCs, who can hook you up with an amazing PC that is capable of playing Ark, and probably still keeping a, a good few frames, looking at 100 Dimorphodons attack something all at once. Definitely, at least. Yeah, my discount link for that is down below. They're a great partner, honestly. I really love that company, like, great people. So normally when I'm doing mutations and stuff, I, I would always kind of want some name suggestions for the creatures. In this case, um, I, I guess, what should we call this army? I, I don't know what to call it. Like, it, it's not even an army. It's just like a, a weird little monster of, of wings and, and teeth and, and tails. And yeah, it, it's basically just a cloud of death. I don't know what to call it. If you guys have any cool names to just call this gigantic army of 100 Dimorphodons, let me know. Also, I think we're getting very close to being done here. Uh, probably like a couple more. All right, we are officially good. Let me go ahead and put away my space dolphin. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's get down there. Let's use Nova though, because uh, at least I'll be able to actually like fly up into the air and stuff with this thing. Uh, all right, come on, follow me. Oh no. <laughs> no way, look at that. Oh dude, that is ridiculous looking. That really is. It just looks so silly. Oh, no. I can't even look at that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Let's, um, can we, can we whistle you guys onto this right here? There we go. Okay. Go on in, boys and girls. 50 of each, by the way. 50 males, 50 females. Uh, let's see. How quick is this thing going to die? So, they are doing increased damage to the Broodmother, but that's just because of the way that the Broodmother works. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Do that? Oh my god! No way! This is <laughs> it's just a number. 
bumpers are appearing on top of each other. It's just so much damage all at once. I don't even know what level this one here is. Like, what on earth? This is ridiculous. Also, it's doing a good amount of damage to them. We're probably actually going to lose some of them here. Hopefully not. Oh, yeah. No, they're dying. All right. Oh, no. Okay, it's dead. That was a 174, though. How many did we lose? Like six, I think. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what OP loot they got for me. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, that's my dead dimorph. Okay, wait, wait. Who got the loot from the brood mother? We need to talk about this. Okay, guys, passive. We we gotta like we we can't we can't we can't do this. Now stop it. <laughs> no, get away. There we go. Okay. Um, this is too much to look at. I can't. Oh, now I'm stuck inside of them. Uh oh. Wow. Okay. No, you guys are almost dead. Okay, night owl. Let's get in here. Uh, I how do how do I heal all of these guys? Like oh no. No, they're not following anything. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, okay. How many did we lose? Was it six? I think it was about six. Uh, let's see. Where's Night Owl? Okay. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Yeah, one more, like, swing on some of these things, and they would have been dead. So, yeah, we got to heal them. Oh, no. That's too much to look at as well. Okay, we, we got most of them healing. <laughs> what have I done? Like, what is wrong with me? Why do I do these things? This is so silly. <laughs> All right, well, I think it's probably time we head on over to Extinction and fight the Desert Titan after I get the rest of these guys all healed up. Um, oh, no, they're all on the ground now. Are we good? Okay, just the ones that are flying are the only ones that haven't got any heals yet, so I'll get those guys healed too. All right, here we go. Now all we got to do is get through this cave, which should be pretty easy to do. My God, I almost got spat on like a bajillion times. Uh, let's just try and just pass through everything here. I guess I could just jump ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. There's so many things in the entrance of this cave, man. And then it kind of becomes a little bit scarce back here. I feel like that first bit... Oh, okay, that's what I was stuck on. That first bit is just way too intense. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's see. I could try and get up there. That's kind of a shortcut, but it's probably best to just keep on this path right here. Let's do another jump. Boom. And there we go. Sweet. So yeah, uh, the only thing that we need now to actually summon this Desert Titan is the artifact, which we should be able to grab on the way through here. I guess we could also just keep a little eye out for some drops as well. Uh, let's see. This map actually has some pretty good loot, to be honest. I do remember getting quite a few nice things in this cave specifically. Oh my god. Stupid rubble golems, get out of my way. So yeah, um, I did go ahead and replace the six dimorphs that we lost. It's kind of funny because we lost one female and five males and then oh my god there's so many arthros and then uh on top of that i went ahead and raised another 25 of each gender so now we have 150 dimorphs hopefully that's enough for this boss if it's not uh i don't know what to do <laughs> like uh, i don't think it would be worth trying to throw any extras at it unfortunately um my issue is is that if it does the i think it has like a roll attack right it has like an attack where it kind of like rolls and uh, if that hits all my guys... Okay, I thought that was going to shoot me forward there and um, zap these dudes, but it didn't. Did we get spat on? We didn't get spit on, right? Oh my god, we got spat on at some point. I don't know when that happened. But yeah, if it does like the roll attack in the air, it does one where it just like spins. Uh, if it does that and it potentially could kill all of them at the same time, that would be really, really bad. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but I don't know. I'm pretty hopeful for this boss fight. If that doesn't happen, then we should be able to get it killed. Um, 150 of them. Oh my God, they, let me move. God damn it. Stupid freaking Arthros are so glitchy. All right, are we good? I think we're good up here, right? Sweet. So yeah, uh, 150 of them. So what did I say it was before? It was just shy of like 60,000 damage. If 150 of them hit at the same time, it should be pretty much just like 90,000 damage. So... That's pretty insane. That's going to be honestly ridiculous. So I'm, I'm really excited to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill this dude right here. Die. Come on. There we go. Sweet. And then we're going to put away dagger. And we're looking for... I already have you on my bar, don't I? There you are. So there we go. Undead Tesla. Let's uh, let's take on this, this desert titan and see if we can kill it. Hopefully it works. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is going to be an absolute shit show. I can already tell. Okay. And uh, Tesla, let's do it. So I got to quickly just collect all of my uh, my dudes. Let's see. You've got a couple levels. Let's pump that into the health. Your health 
got nerfed along the way at some point, I believe, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's even worse to look at! Oh, okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I mean, we know how much damage they do. I don't think I need to, to have that active. Like, that's, oh God, that is just, that is ridiculous looking. Uh, all right, let's, um, let's send them in. Just, uh, just go kill that big, that big floaty thing for me there, will ya? Oh man, look at them go. All right, um, we just gotta keep the flock away from me. That's one thing, cause they can dismount me and that would be kind of annoying. Uh, I will actually have it active for just a second here. Hopefully not being too close to it. I want to see the damage roll in. Oh, no. No, you guys are going to get shocked. Okay, no, you're probably fine. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so they're doing reduced damage to the Desert Titan. I guess that kind of makes sense. Wow. They are... They're shredding it. They really are. They're not all hitting at the same time, though. They're all kind of, like, all over the place. You guys need to, like, get in there get in and actually do the damage. So they just got hit for 700 damage there. At least one of them did. Some of them are getting zapped as well. Uh, kind of a mess. Come on, get in there. Okay, yeah, we're not, they're, they're, they're not all hitting. Let's actually help them just a little bit, you know? Is this even working? That's not even doing anything. I'm, I've just been swallowed. I'm inside of the Desert Titan. I don't appreciate this. Are you gonna, are you gonna poop me out now? Oh, he's gonna do the spin or something. What's he doing? Can I get out of here? Oh God, that is so hard to look at. Oh no, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, he pooped me out, amazing. Took him a little while though. Oh, oh God, okay. Are we good? Are they still all on it? It doesn't even look like they're all hitting it. Like some of them are just floating around. Like, what are those ones over there doing? Get in there, boys. Okay, this thing's almost dead. I mean, this is pre it's pretty impressive. Like we've already almost killed this thing. There are a lot of these guys though. <laughs> They're all just hitting his tail. I don't know why they, they don't seem to want to hit anywhere else at all. Uh, it's, it's basically dead at this stage. Look at that. That is ridiculous, man. That is honestly ridiculous. Could you imagine like some of the crazy stuff that we do, like these crazy creatures, like this army. There we go, it's dead. Oh, I didn't have, oh, the rail gun. Oh yeah, I haven't fought Rockwell yet, have I? Hmm, all right, let's, uh, let's get you boys on follow one of you because i forgot to turn off the thing which means that the loot is being probably picked up by one of you so one of them is probably super slow because it has a crap ton of loot on it gotta find that loot because you can get some pretty good stuff from these uh these titans but yeah my, my point that i was gonna say a second ago is uh hopefully you know oh God, i can't i can't even know <laughs> at some point i think it'd be really cool to like take this gigantic army and um and kind of just you know mess around on pvp but it's not really possible though is it it's really not it would be kind of fun but no <laughs> oh man look at that they're just gone they're just they don't exist anymore yeah i don't know some of these like gigantic armies and ridiculous creatures i think it would be so fun to test them out on people it really would i just i don't have like a pvp server and if i did i think that would be really scummy to to just bring my gigantic ridiculous army from my other server onto there but i don't know sometimes it it makes me wonder like what this right here could actually do to to people and 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 gigas and stuff like if somebody was just walking around like leveling up their giga and then i came in and attacked with 150 dimorphs the giga would be dead in a second it really would it would probably be dead within the first strike as in the first bite from every single dimorph would kill it um regardless of the saddle like you'd have to have just ridiculously good saddle and just so much health and i just don't think that would be possible to really survive so i don't know just something like this would just be so fun to use on people is what i'm really trying to say um again not really ever going to be a thing but i think it would be really fun if it was maybe at some point i'll make like a pvp server and just allow people to go on but Everybody that goes on signs a verbal contract of you might get messed with by me. <laughs> just just bringing this ridiculous stuff to you. Okay, wait, what? Did I not whistle you on there? Oh, God, it's so freemy. The computer is really good, but it just can't handle 150 dimorphs and their green names and their flappy wings just everywhere. Uh, okay, so one of you has the stuff. I need to figure out who has it. I can't see. I can't do anything. I do kind of want to bring 20 of these in to fight maybe the manticore at least i was also thinking the crystal queen but i don't know if i'll be able to kill that that boss is a lot harder than the manticore is 
and also it flies around quite a lot so i don't know might not be able to do that maybe could potentially be able to kill the manticore though okay let's get you all and follow we gotta we gotta okay wait that's a bag that is not what we're looking for though okay cool we gotta figure out who had the loot on them but i'm gonna have to probably pick up every single one of these things because this is silly okay so none of the dimorphs had the loot okay buy morel tops um that's kind of concerning maybe it just oh is that a duck oh, okay we have like the event colors on right now i guess where exactly did we kill this thing because the bag's got to be here somewhere i think it was like over here i don't even know man like it was it was way up in the sky so it's kind of hard to figure out exactly where that bag might have landed and it also might be gone soon yeah i officially have no idea where that item cache is uh it's safe to say it's just gone uh it's not here my guys didn't pick up the stuff so it's fine it would have just been kind of nice to get that stuff you know i kind of wish that i never put all these guys away because they are such a pain to take back out like honestly it takes ages but i did find a giga and i do want to unleash this this cloud upon that giga and just see but real quick, check out this woolly bracky down here. This is from Arc Editions, of course, and um, you just got to see that neck beard. Like, it doesn't get m much better than that. I mean, it, it, like, the neck beard goes all the way down into chest hair. Like, goddamn, look at you. Get this mad a fedora, and now he's, he's going to be dead. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. You're so cool looking, though. Honestly, that, that woolly bracky was amazing looking. I really I really like that. It's, it's just so crazy cool looking. All right, anyway. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Um, why are they doing less damage now, by the way? Like, what's all, what's all that about? So confused about that. Let's get my guys over towards this Giga. It's just up the hill here. Um, it's so hard to even look at that swarm. I, I just, I can't. We, we just gotta not look at them. We just gotta appreciate that they're doing the work. They're getting things done, but we're just not allowed to look in their direction at all because it just ruins me. This is also a high-level Giga, by the way. It's like a 156, so not, uh... That could be the easiest thing to potentially just kill, but I don't know. Hopefully they can do it. Hopefully they can absolutely slay this thing. I technically only need 20 of them to survive, but that's fine. we got to wait until it's not biting, because that would be bad. Um, all right, let's just send them in. Screw it. All right, go, go ahead. Kill the Giga in one little swipe. Let's see. Uh, is it going to happen? Can you guys even catch up to it? Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. Did you guys? That is insane. That was a 156 giga and now it lo no longer exists. It's it's gone. It doesn't exist. That is ridiculous. Like what? I can't even look at these guys. Like seriously. That is ridiculous. Oh god, look at the shadow of them. It it just looks like the smoke monster from freaking Lost or something. That is ridiculous looking. All right. Well, anyway, now uh we can see if they can potentially kill the Manticore. Again, no idea if that's even going to be possible. Probably not. Uh we got to put them away again. All right, we're going to head in to see if we can kill a Gamma Manticore, and then I've got enough stuff for the beta. We're not doing the alpha. It just would not be possible at all. Do not see that happening. Also, quite a few of these guys are super leveled up, so I think I'm only going to be pumping health on them, by the way. So hopefully they end up being really OP when we can super fully level all of them. But yeah, we'll have to get there first. All right, go for it. Go kill that giant manticore if you can catch up to it at all. Oh my god, that's going to be the issue, isn't it? Can they even catch up to it? Oh, oh no, they they could easily get knocked out as well. Okay, I thought they... Okay, no, We're, we might be good here. So bear in mind, the manticore, I think, what is it like? It takes a quarter of the damage, which is really annoying. So it's got major resistance, like 75% resistance, which is just super insane and and really stupid but whatever um yeah hopefully we'll be able to do this this is exactly why i don't think we'd be able to actually do the alpha because the alpha's got like a million health uh a bunch of my guys are stuck behind that pillar right there let's see let's just kind of just chill around it i'm i'm basically just here to watch i, I don't really want to help too much here uh although these guys right here you should probably try to get in there guys come on what are you doing come here just come to me uh, oh wait, no, we might be okay. Oh, there's like floating sand now as well. Cool. Freaking death worms. All right, are they all in there? I think we're good. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. The, the Manticore is doing a good amount of damage to them, and he's able to hit quite a few of them at the same time. And also the death worm is probably hurting them too. 
Uh, now we might be okay. Okay, we'll just keep them focused on the Manticore, though. Come on! Like a Dimorph army versus a Manticore. It's kind of insane how you can bring them in here, actually. I like that, but, um... Yeah, apparently they can only come into this arena and the... What do you call it? The other one. The Crystal Queen. You can only bring it into those two arenas, even though you're not able to ride on them. Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense how you can't bring them into all the other arenas, but whatever. All right, let's see. I know they're flyers, but, you know, you're not able to ride on them. It doesn't make any sense. All right, let's just... Uh, I guess I'll, I'll fight these dudes. <laughs> if I could actually hit them. There we go. All right, boys. Catch up to it. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Look at that. Oh, man. They are not able to catch up to it. You know, I... I at the same time as, like, you, I think it might be possible to do the beta. I, it might be a bit too painful to do the beta. Like, look at this. <laughs> They're not able to catch up to it. They're only able to hit it when it stops. And it's doing a good amount of damage to them, too. And you need to get in there, bud. Yeah. I think it, we, we would definitely be able to do the beta, but it's just painful to watch. Like, look at this. Get in there. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Let's just... Uh, we'll just chill right here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, uh, they're, they're doing their thing. It's taking a long time. Hello. You just came right up into my uh, into my face right here. Hello. Okay. Oh, now he's... Okay, yeah. He was, like, super tall a second ago. Was he, like, on the side of the cliff or something? Very confusing. All right. They're doing some good damage to that thing. It's got, like, a third of the health left. Probably more like a quarter now, actually. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's get in here. If I can. Oh, okay. Never mind. There's another death worm. I think it'd be kind of funny if we could bring these guys into the dragon arena to just see if they'd be able to take it out. Like, the dragon's got its own little Dimorphodon minions, so it should make sense how I should have mine. <laughs> I remember the first time uh, me and my, uh, my friends, we did a, a run of the tech cave when it was first introduced. And this is back before the actual boss fight was in so all you had to gain from that was nothing literally nothing you you got nothing you hit the terminal at the end and it showed you like a weird tiny little almost cutscene, but it wasn't really and then that was it we just kind of did it for funsies to be honest but the first time we did that we actually brought dimorphs into the cave with us because uh we thought it was a good idea and they actually did some pretty good damage I don't know if you're able to bring those in nowadays, but you were able to bring them in back then. And also, I think there was Dimorphs in the cave, too. But yeah, um, haven't really used Dimorphs for anything since then. And you're dead! Get wrecked, homie. All right, actually, do... No, I forgot it. God damn it. I meant to bring my freaking taxidermy tool, but it's it's okay. Wait, we got all the stuff, right? Uh, one of you guys probably has the element, but I guess I'll check on the giant kitty just in case. Wait, let me... Try and access you. There we go. So you had 100,000 health. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys doing? Oh, that was very lucky. How convenient. The first one I look at has all of the stuff I need. Amazing. Yeah, we totally would be able to take out a beta one. Um, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I'll just, I'll get it done. I'll just show you the very end of that fight. All right, so these guys almost have this thing dead already, and it's basically taken eight minutes. That's not bad. That really isn't. Honestly, if I had them to the point where they had, like, maybe 15 or 16,000 health, then I would probably say they'd be able to take out the alpha. Probably. I don't know. At this point, it's flying all over the place. Can we actually hit it? There we go. We're hitting it a little bit. I haven't touched this thing, by the way. I did shock it accidentally by like just once but uh that didn't really do anything so yeah there we go um god damn that is honestly ridiculous and, and insane and, and just kind of silly at the same time dimorphs dimorph army oh look at that we didn't actually get the uh the kill on one of these dudes they didn't grab the stuff for some reason that's weird but anyway yeah dimorph army um it works it definitely works would i recommend doing what i did though no, no, don't, don't do this. This is so stupid. <laughs> Maxing out, you know, mutations on a creature. You'd probably be better off spending your time doing that with like, I don't know, just something different, <laughs> something better. I mean, like it is amazing to send, you know, a bajillion of these guys in at something all at once. But at the same time, you know, spend your time doing something else. Go outside or something. Let me do the weird things like this. 
God damn it, that is that was honestly just ridiculous. I mean, we killed the brood mothers at the very start. We killed the desert titan. Uh did I not put all you guys away? I guess I didn't. Okay. There we go, and there we go. Sweet. Um Wait, maybe all of them didn't come. No. No, they would have all come. That that mm, maybe. I don't know. I thought I got them all into their balls. Doesn't matter. But yeah, um, we, we managed to kill just some ridiculous bosses with these guys here today. Um, we could probably do more with them. I mean, like, I could definitely kill a Titan, like a Titanosaurus, and potentially kill the Forest Titan and the Ice Titan, but those might be a little bit tricky because if they slam down, they will probably kill all of the Dimorphs all at once, and that would be a major issue. This has kind of been where I've been keeping all my trophies. <laughs> we just... We have all this stuff. I can't bring it through obelisks properly, so. All right, well, that is going to be it for today. That was uh, pretty crazy. Don't expect me to do that with like vultures or something next. If anything, I would maybe make a gigantic army of cinema crops, but I don't know. Uh, you can't bring them into the Broodmother Arena, so it's not super worth it. Either way though, this was pretty fun. I really enjoy this type of thing of just being really silly and just making something ridiculous and just seeing how it, how it goes and it's been really eye-opening. Dimorphs are scary. I've always thought that, but now they're extra scary because they can just turn into a cloud of death, and that is definitely terrifying. Uh, either way, though, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, and uh, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I have some other crazy mutation things coming up soon, hopefully, if I can get them finished. Working on all sorts of stuff all the time, honestly. I really am. But, uh, yeah, that is it, and I will catch you in the next one.